With Sony's recent launch of the InZone lineup, a new standard has been set in terms of gaming peripherals. But is Sony the let me solo her in terms of audio and video games or does Razer still have the high ground like they did before? Let's find out in our video today where we compare the InZone H9 against the Razer Barracuda Pro. Sony InZone H9 is Sony's most premium headset from the InZone lineup which allegedly pushes the boundaries regarding audio acquisition in video games. But Razer also leveled up their game by revamping their fan-favorite Barracuda lineup where the Barracuda Pro takes the crown. Let's break them down. Being the brand's flagship wireless gaming headset, the InZone H9 borrows a lot of its design and visual aesthetics from the PlayStation 5 with its two-tone black and white color scheme with matte plastic on top and outsides of the ear cup. The visuals go beautifully with its black plastic and fall leather struts that connect the ear cups to the headband and padding. In terms of visual indication, the H9 comes with a circular RGB light around the struts which shows how much Sony loves advertising its product. With Razer, we have visuals similar to the Barracuda X Wireless and the Razer Opus Wireless 2021. Being relatively casual looking, the headphones sport a shiny plastic exterior and oval shaped ear cups with each cup rocking the prestigious Razer logo but unfortunately they don't light up. In classic Razer fashion, you'll find the headphones only in the black variant. When it comes to the fit, the H9 is surprisingly comfortable. The ear pads have just the right amount of thickness to fit with the headband maintaining a delicate balance between being too tight that it hurts and too loose that it slips making this a marvelous pair of cans to bring with you on long-running gaming marathons. Jumping back to Razer, the padding feels great and in usual Razer fashion, don't put too much of a strain on your head. However, the ear cups, because of the material, do trap some heat, making your ears feel warm and fuzzy over time and not in a good way. Now controls. The left ear cup on the InZone H9 holds a permanently attached boom microphone which automatically mutes the audio when pivoted up. The cans come with a dedicated ANC button, a volume wheel and a USB-C port for charging that's conveniently placed on the edge of the ear cups. The right ear cup right here houses the power and Bluetooth connection buttons alongside a very handy and useful game slash chat rocker. The Barracuda Pro on the other hand does not fall too far behind either. The controls are relatively easy to use and have good feedback. The headphones do come with an infinite volume wheel but it gives you an auditory reminder when you reach min or max volume. The microphone mute button sticks out perfectly as a physical reminder of the mute status, although it's best to keep in mind that some additional buttons might not be accessible to certain users depending on the device they're connected to. Now, the meat of the matter, the sound. While using the Razer Barracuda X Pro, the default preset with THX Spatial Audio Off provides an overall neutral audio profile that doesn't actually stop at gaming but can be used for a variety of different audio content. Razer provides that signature oomph factor to the bass but slightly overemphasizes the high mids, making the vocals and leading instruments a little harsh. But no worries, as the headphone comes with the dedicated software so fine-tuning your audio is always an option. Also, using the USB dongle alongside the microphone voice gate and noise cancellation features provide relatively good audio acquisition. The cans also feature adjustable ANC that you can tinker with in the companion app. This makes gaming in a place where there's some chatter and the constant buzz of the AC a breeze. As for Sony, the H9 brings with it its own standard of audio. While designed as a gaming headset, it does perform pretty well as a standalone headphone. Now, don't go expecting a WH-1000 lineup level of audio quality, but what we get itself isn't bad at all. The microphone built into the headset, however, could probably be its weakest link due to its sensitivity. As a welcome feature that was missing on the Pulse 3D headset, the H9 comes with ANC with ambient sound features which is a welcome addition. While Razer's THX is good, Sony's 360 Spatial Audio actually gives you somewhat supercharged hearing which might actually be the determining factor between winning and losing a game. And for runtime, the H9 can deliver up to 32 hours of battery life while Razer just owns it with 8 extra hours resulting in 40 hours of gameplay without interruption. So, which one of these pristine headphones did you go for? Considering the specs, both of these headphones will do an amazing job providing a solid gameplay experience. But, you could go for Sony if you want a tactical edge in competitive gameplay thanks to its 360 spatial audio. But, if you want to spend a few bucks less while getting yourself a better battery life, 
Razer is definitely the one you should go for. With that, we end our video on Sony Inzone H9 versus Razer Barracuda Pro Choose Your Weapon. We hope this video makes your buying decision more simple and effective. Do let us know which one you went for as we would love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.